back to my channel. So today we are having Lauren and Nico over for some wine, which you've met them before. That's my husband Tyler. I know you never see him. Okay, there's Nick and, <laughs> and Lauren. Okay, today we have this amazing wine that Lauren and Nick brought. Do you see this? Basically, it's from 1978. We're very excited. I'm chasing you down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a little story that goes along with this wine. Basically, when me and Nick moved into our house, his grandparents gave us a ton of wine. We put it up in our cabinet because it was all old. It looked disgusting. We we're not touching this, whatever else. About a year ago. So we decided the other day to go through the cabinet, clean it out, throwing wines away, just tossing them. Like, this is old, sad. this is gross, That's whatever sad. else. And well, this so one. And Nick's like, eh, this is interesting. I'm going to look it up and see see what this is and it's literally worth six hundred and twelve dollars yeah we should pull that up on vivino we should. there are a lot of prices for this wine when we're looking it up on vivino because that's the app that we like to use um and it's kind of all over the board so we don't know exactly but we're gonna crack it open pray that it's not corked and let it decant for a little bit the suspense Okay, okay, we're okay, we're okay. Ooh, uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay, so we're getting a little innovative on a couple fronts here because number one, we don't have a decanter, so I, I am using a vase, basically. I was like, we're gonna do what we can. I can't wait for wine professionals to see this video. No, a wine pro would be proud of me for figuring out something. Anyways, um, the cork broke, as you can see, so we just took a strainer and had to kind of strain over it, which stinks, but we're, we are doing the best that we can with what we have. Okay, so we have let the wine sit for a couple hours. Um, we had a rosé from Bonobo Winery, which is in Traverse City, and we also had, it's a Cabernet Franc from California. We actually, fun fact, if anyone is a fan of the Psalms documentaries, when Tyler and I were in New York City, we went to Verve Wine and we picked out this wine from the Psalm Picks. So we just finished that bottle up. It was pretty good. And now we have decided it is time to dive into the Bordeaux from France from 1978. And then crazy, crazy weird coincidence, we follow the Psalm Films Instagram, and I kid you not, they just shared on their Instagram that they're drinking what? Except they're drinking it from 1945 and our vintage is 1978. But either way, how nuts is that? So nuts. This is the weirdest coincidence of all time. So we're about to dive into this. Let's do it. Like, I'm just smelling it. It's I, I want it to be amazing. I want it to be everything we dream it to be and more. Yeah. I really do. Same. It looks like, it be. like prune juice. Oh, uh, yeah, you really just put words to what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't smell that goofy. Uh, what do you think it smells like? I do smell fruit. I get like straight molasses. Okay, so we have our handy dandy Wine Folly Essential Guide to Wine, and we're gonna find it. <laughs> you guys, it's not corked. It's not corked. It's not it's, bad. It's, no, no, I don't think it's a bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Do you realize what this means? We can. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's wild. I've never tasted a wine that tastes like this. No. Because you've never had a wine from 1978 before. This is what I'm saying. Like newer wines, you can taste the fruit more easily. Whereas this is like the more that the wine matures, wow. the less that you taste the fruit notes, and the more that you're going to taste the other things, like the deeper things in the wine. So this is so exciting. Ah! <laughs> yeah, because that's the thing. I initially drank it and was like, like I almost gave myself the wrong expectation. Like I'm going to not like it. 
But if you kind of go with like a very like neutral perspective. It's very mature. This whole it's time mature tasting. we have been preparing ourselves for this wine to be bad and like have some kind of like moldy <laughs> taste or smell or whatever, be corked. Like we have been mentally preparing ourselves. And the fact that it's not, like it's actually it's actually like drinkable is nuts. Is. I'm so excited right now. So let's analyze this wine. Okay. So we are reading in our wine folly book. Thank you, Madeline Paquette. Um the Bordeaux blend and the, the possible flavors and notes that we would taste. So because this is so old, this wine is 41 years old, which is crazy to think about. Um, because of that, we wouldn't get so much of the herbal floral fruity notes, but more so like the earthy, oaky, and those um, tertiary, I don't know if I'm saying that word right, tertiary. Tertiary, yeah. Like third, like primary, secondary, tertiary earthy notes would be possibly like leather which lauren got leather wet gravel cocoa truffle tar charcoal pencil and graphite i can taste the spice <laughs> <laughs> the tertiary um flavors are molasses coffee and fig and tyler actually pinpoint molasses as his um that was like the first note that he said so that's legit you guys this is exciting one through ten what do you think it's so different i mean i've mm -hmm. never tasted a wine this old before like uh, the oldest wine other than this is maybe five years old you know mm -hmm. what would like what would be fair for me to say an estimated value even if it's like a huge range what would i'm be vlogging fair? right now and you know, <laughs> <laughs> trying to hijack my vlog um but i guess you could say this ranges from like 400 dollars to 2000 depending on, what? on where it's being sold which yeah. is crazy anyway they actually recommend it being about 10 years old when you drink it so we're past that <laughs> 10 years. but that's okay this is so unique i'm geeking out <laughs> if that wasn't obvious wow Tennis shoes or popcorn? <laughs> oh my god. Cheers. Oh, you missed. Cheers. 